Hey, what's up guys? This is Babi Mano here and I'm back finally. So today I want to share with you guys a little secret that I got since the Olympia last year to build my glutes. That was my main feedback to build glutes, so we focus on that. I had my surgery, I changed my silicone, and after that we start training glutes, especially uh, focus on the part that I need to work and uh, this is the guy that helped me a lot. What's up guys, Christian Olivero here. I've been working with Babby since this April and she's made tremendous improvements on her physique just by implementing simple principles, simple cues to really help develop her glutes and get her ready for the stage. So that's what we're working on today. We're gonna to focus on glute focused leg workout, giving you guys my cues, which helps her to fit her glutes better, contract her glutes better, and ultimately have the best physique, complete physique on stage. Yes, so stay tuned for this because it's a great video to learn, especially some exercises that I see a lot of people doing and they don't feel their glutes at all. I was not feeling, so let's go and let's learn. And she's thinking about shoving down through the floor. Good, her hips are lifting out of the chair. Uh. And that's the reason we have the seat belt to make, she, make it even extra stable. Good. And she's thinking about shoving through the uh. floor. Through the floor as she uh. comes out with her thighs. Uh. Last two, go. Last two, two, one more. <laughs> Good, relax, relax. So as you can see, great isolated exercise if you're blessed enough to have this machine at your gym. If you don't, well, a ab regular abduction machine will be fine, but this machine, as it comes down, involves the lower fibers because you're pressing down, it arcs down as you come out, so it's a really great machine. Yeah, I also like a lot of this because after he explained me how to do it, right? Because, uh, what do you say, to against the belt? Yes, it's so almost like- So I press down, I against the belt, I'm almost like doing a hip thrust yeah. thing. So you do it like almost like a hip thrust, pressing down. It's yes. unbelievable. So it's pretty much like an abduction mitzvah, like a hip thrust almost. Because she's pressing down, her hips are coming up, and the seat has her still, and which keeps her locked in, ready to contract her glutes. Pretty good. Always wear a seat belt on this machine. It helps a lot, and it helps you actually push more weight. So take advantage of the seat belt if you have one. Hey guys, so with this exercise, for some people they feel better sensation if they kind of round their back as they come up. Because if they start to extend their spine, then they might get a little bit of erector sensation. But if you're thinking about just pinching your weight up, you will feel more glutes. But if you think about just coming up and with your, your back, you might feel a little bit more this sensation. So how you do this is very important. So as you can see, she's really squeezing, almost like she's shoving this away instead of coming up. Good, and she's really locked in. Three, good, two, good, one more. Good, relax, let's go. A good one tip also for this, always make sure when you're rounding off, this is below your hip crease, because if it's above, then you can't flex as much, so you can't get a stretch. So make sure it's always below, so you're able to get a stretch, flex at the hip, and come up and extend. Nice. So she's thinking about pulling her pelvis down towards her hamstrings. If she focuses on coming up, she's going to use her rectus more. They're still involved no matter what, but yeah. the intent should be to pull this down. Uh. Good. Mm. Can you stop feeling? Good Can you job. Stop feeling the... the hamstrings a little bit? No worries. Uh, All right. When I stop feeling the hamstrings, I stand You want to do the squats or you want to go to hip thrust? Squats? No. Hip thrust. Oh, okay. Let's go. So now we're gonna we're gonna do a hip thrust at the Smith machine, and uh, I think that's a great form. I actually almost prefer do here than do free barbell 
Hipshire, so sometimes it depends on the machine, I don't like it. So it's a good variation and I really recommend you guys try it. So Christian gonna show how he set up the machine. Alrighty. And the great thing about this design is that what I see the more, like I think is a, a lot of people use a lot of weight and a lot of size. Not that I'm against to do heavy, but if you don't do the proper form, you're also not gonna. Exactly, if, you're, if your focus is just to keep raising the weight regardless of form, well, something has to give. So you if you're gonna that. raise, yeah, if, if you're gonna raise the weight, make sure your form is impeccable. So one of the focuses isn't just to bring the bar up, it's actually to drive your feet through the floor. Three, good, last two. Two, one more. Get to the very top, get to the very top. Like you're trying to, there you go, good. So even with just 135, you can still make it really challenging depending on how you move. If you're thinking contraction first, well guess what, it's gonna be way harder than if you're just coming up and extending. So I'll say this is like my favorite exercise so far. <laughs> like I hate it because it, I feel a lot, but it's also really good. So guys, the cue is to think about not letting her, your knee pass too forward. Stay, let it be right over your heel because if you come from the side here, notice how her knee is directly over her heel. If her knee starts to go forward too much, there's a moment arm to her knee, so her quads might get a little bit more involved. So you wanna keep this all glued. Make sure your, your shin is upright, perpendicular to the floor. And she's thinking about pressing straight down through the box. Not coming up, but pressing through the box. That way, it's fine. Right. Let's go 20. So the whole time she's thinking hamstring to pelvis and she's bringing these two points closer together and squeezing. Good. Good. Nah. Three. Good. Two. One more. Nice. nice, relax, good. Oh. So guys, that was a workout. Take those tips, use them for your own glute training. That what, that's what Babby has used since April and she's made tremendous improvements for her physique. And remember, focus on contraction first, weight second, and your glutes will go, trust me. She's proof of that, she's, a, she's a evidence of that. She's come in and worked her ass off. Really focusing on those small details will make a big difference. So it's like really good training. We usually take an hour. An hour, next. that's all it takes. So it's like not cr nothing crazy, crazy heavyweight, long workout, exhausting. It's more about the mind muscle connection thing, focus and then trying to hit the right spots in the right time. So I'm really happy with this workout. It's giving me a great result. And I'm happy to share with you guys finally. I'm happy to be back. And stay tuned because you're gonna come with more.